November 13th, 2022. I have unpacked one of our thermal printers and a brick of ticket stock because I have this CI here that I'm going to sell and I needed to demonstrate that the modem port works, modem port and printer port actually. So I had a little difficulty finding the correct serial cable. In fact, I didn't find the right serial cable. I couldn't find a printer cable, so I had to use a modem cable and a null modem adapter. And luckily that works. I ran a couple of printer self-tests and everything's working fine. Except that when it does the self-test, it runs at a slow print speed. And when I make actual use of it, it's not quite, the printing's not quite as dense because it prints at a faster speed. I'm not too thrilled about that. And I don't know where the compiler is, so it would be difficult to change the print speed in the program, recompile it, and so forth. Anyhow, here's the little bus ticket sales application that I wrote in fall of 85 and then updated in fall of 86. This was used until Thanksgiving in 1999. Very useful and reliable little program. So as soon as it does its thing, there we go. So I will make a credit slip. One test, test, test. So this is um, going to print a credit slip. We would keep one copy for our records and hand a copy to the customer. And then when they wanted to use the credit in the future, they'd bring in their copy. Here we go. So there we have it. Whoa, that's really light. I was fiddling with the um, two screws in the printer that adjust the print head pressure, and I apparently went the wrong way. But anyhow, there's the our copy and the customer's copy. So. That proves that the modem port works, and this proves that the printer port works. The printer port is connected to local talk, which makes its way to the laser printer. Hopefully somebody will like this computer and pay me a good price for it. Alright, that's all I got to say about that.